Not the love of your life? I am not the lover of, of <laughs> Mrs. Butterworth. Today we're taste testing these top six syrup brands so we can tell you which one's the best. We're gonna be tasting these on pancakes because drinking them plain would be a little bit too sugary and probably not accurate. I'm assuming most of you guys don't do that. We're gonna be tasting them all individually and rating them on a scale from one to 10. And the syrup with the highest combined score will be the ultimate syrup yep. winner. Tasty masty. But before we jump into the taste test, we just wanna say that we're grateful for all of you guys that are subscribed to us and for your comments. We love seeing your comments. Yeah, but a lot of you guys are actually not subscribed and we're trying to hit 500 subscribers on this channel. So if you're one of those people, we would really appreciate if you subscribed, help support us, and we can keep making these awesome videos. Yep, well, let's get into the taste test. We've got our pancake here. So we just gotta put some syrup on it and start chowing down. All right, first up, we've got original Hungry Jack syrup. And the other five we're trying today are Mrs. Buttersworth Original, Log Cabin Original, and Jemima Original. And then we've got two pure maple syrups. We've got Butternut Mountain Farm Maple Syrup and Kirkland Maple Syrup. And uh, I just chuckled a little bit because when I opened that up, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a little smiley face. Is there? Spelled. Oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> that's pretty funny. I like right. that. I haven't had Hungry Jack before. I don't think I have either, but I drenched the pancake pretty good so we get a mm -hmm. good taste of the syrup. Yep, I mean, the syrup is what we're tasting, so it's probably good to get a lot on there. Mm -hmm. Mm. That's got a pretty good buttery taste. It does. It's um nice and sugary, it's, as you I was expect. gonna say, it's plenty sugary, yeah, plenty sweet. I mean, this happens every time. I don't really know how to fix it. The first one that we do, I don't really know how to rate it because it's our very first one. We don't have anything to compare it to. Well, I like it. So it's definitely going to be more than a higher than a five for me. So I'm going to give that a, a seven. Oh, okay. Just because I don't have anything to compare it to, I like it also, but I'm going to give it a six. All right. Next up, we've got Log Cabin. This one seems a little bit runnier than it does. the Hungry Jacks. Yep. Let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm trying we're, to steal my piece. We're fighting for the same chunk. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. I like that different better. flavor. I like it better. I'd say it's a little less sweet. Maybe maybe a little bit less sweet. I don't know. Maybe it's more buttery or something. I like the flavor better though. Yeah, I can't tell exactly what flavor it is. Is it more buttery? Mmm. I don't know. I don't know if I would say it's more buttery. Yeah, I don't know what the flavor is, but I can say that I like it more. Yeah, and it's not a ton better, but I like it a little bit better, so. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give that one uh, an eight, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing as you. I gave the last one a six, so I'm going to give it a seven. All right, la cabino, numero uno spado. All right, third up is Aunt Jemima Original Recipe. Definitely had this one before. Hmm, this one's a little darker brown color than the previous. Mm-hmm, spread it on there nice and good. Mmm. Mmm, aftertaste is good. Isn't it? At I first I didn't like it as much. There wasn't a ton of flavor, but the aftertaste was nice and buttery and okay. yummy. Let me try it. I don't think I like the flavor as well as the other two. It's plenty sweet I and mean, it's good, but I guess my opinion, I don't know. I, you know what? I probably would rate it about the same as Hungry Jack's. I'm gonna give that one a seven. I just have to decide if I think the aftertaste is gonna give it a higher score than the others, which I don't really think so. It was nice, it was pleasant, to think, oh, this isn't that great. And then afterwards you're like, oh, it actually That's is pretty good. Pretty good. But I'm going to give it the same as the Hungry Jacks as well, a six. All right. We are moving on to the last of the regular pancake syrups before we move on to the maple syrups. This is Mrs. Butterworth's. And it looks uh, pretty nice and thick. It does look thick. Thick and dark. Thick and dark, which I don't know if that's necessarily good, but we will give it a shot. Mmm, you're spilling. Mmm. Not the lover of the lover, not the love of your life. I am not the lover of, of <laughs> Mrs. Butterworth. <laughs> Neither um, am I, actually. Yeah, that is kind of weird. They tried to do something different in here, and I don't think it really worked. It's um, I don't even know what you would call it. It's I want to say that it's kind smoky. of smoky. Yeah, it's yeah, smoky. it's kind of smoky flavor. Which and I'm is not weird. really looking for smoky in my syrup. You know what? That really stinks because I actually thought that this was going to be the best one. I thought I was going I to too. like this best um, because of its buttery taste. But it's not that buttery. I actually no. <laughs> it's I, more just smoky. I mean, I don't want to be too mean, but it's just <laughs> not good. I'm going to give it a three. 
Oh, really? I didn't yeah. dislike it that much. I'm gonna give it a five. Okay. And it kind of just goes to show you that when you're doing a taste test, so you're just at home, you've got Miss Butterworths mm -hmm. in the cupboard, you eat it, it's like, oh yeah, whatever, that's syrup, that's good. Mm -hmm. But when you taste all these different ones side by side, you actually realize yeah. that there is a pretty distinct difference, except for in hot dogs. In right. Yours, there's not. Yeah, if but, you haven't seen our last hot dog video, go check that out. <laughs> right. We pretty much discover nothing. It's great. <laughs> but with pancake syrup, along with pretty much every other video we do, there actually is a pretty significant difference that you just don't really notice until you get them all together and try them at the mm -hmm. same time. So and what we found out about Mrs. Butterworth syrup. See you later. It's not great. <laughs> All right, the first up of our pure maple syrup, this one is from Kirkland from Costco. Right. And this is something we actually use in our home. So this stuff is a lot more runny. It's very runny. Probably because it is pure maple syrup. The other thing that we notice, it has a ton more sugar yeah. than most of these other ones, but it's natural sugar, it's not added sugar. I know, so. it's kind of weird. You'd think if it's all natural, it'd have less sugar, but yep. it has 53 grams of sugar <laughs> per, per serving. Which is a quarter cup. Kind of a lot. Right. Definitely mm. a different kind of flavor. I like it. Let's see. I think after tasting the Mrs. Butterworth syrup, it kind of, it's pretty it's, good. <laughs> it's, be it's better than that, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, I'd say it's actually pretty decent. Yeah, nice and sugary, definitely. You can tell there's a lot of sugar in there. Mm -hmm. It's not too buttery or anything, but again, that's probably right. because it's the pure maple syrup. Yep. So it didn't add any extra flavors to make it seem buttery. And I do like more of a buttery taste in mm -hmm. my syrup, so I don't like it as well as some of the other ones that we've already rated today, but I definitely like it better than the Mrs. Butterworth. So yeah, I would agree with that. I'm gonna probably give this a six and a half. All right, I'm just gonna go right in the middle. I think it's better than the Mrs. Butterworth, but not quite as good as the others. I'm gonna give it a five. All right. This one's got a long name, so I have to look at it to remember it. This is Butternut Mountain Farm 100% Pure Maple Syrup. Yeah, I've never had this one before. I haven't either. New to me, but it was top rated on some sites that we looked at, so we're gonna try it. Fancy, this one has a squeeze top, so it looks pretty nice coming out. Yeah. This one, it is um, a little thinner, just like the other maple syrup. Yep, kind of expected. Mm. Let's see how it tastes. And it also it has smells. just as much sugar, sugar as the Kirkland one, 53 grams per quarter cup. And it smells pretty sweet. Mmm. Hmm. That tastes pretty much like the Kirkland one, but it tastes a little buttery to me. I like it a little bit better me than too. the Kirkland one. I'm that's, gonna take one more bite. I'm pretty impressed by that. You likey? Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't know if it's the best one we've had today, but I definitely like it. Hmm. That's pretty good. I'm gonna say it's not my top, but it's actually pretty close. Yeah, me too. I'm gonna give it a six and a half. I'm gonna give that a six. Seven and a half. Oh, all right. So all right. that was our final one. We're gonna combine all the scores and see which one is the top. We'll be right back. All right, we totaled up the scores and we came out with second place was the- Whatever that is. Butternut Mountain Farm, pure maple syrup. And mm -hmm. first place with a total of 14, no. 15. 15 points was Log Cabin. That's right. So we're just gonna do a very quick um, final taste test to see which yep. one of these two we actually like the best. All right, get a nice amount on there. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try the log cabin first. And I'm gonna, gonna try, try the, one. the, yep. All right, let's see. Yeah, nice and buttery mm. compared to the pure maple syrups. Oh, wow, yeah. Better? Yep. Good buttery mm. taste, mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. But and you know, this one is still good, but like you said, at three times the price, mm, I don't think so. No, definitely not. Log cabin's got it beat. But the cool thing is we do have two really good syrups yeah. One that's, you know, less expensive. It's hard to say which one is actually the healthiest. Yeah, because this that one has 53 so, grams of sugar. So much sugar, but it is all natural. Yeah. So I'm gonna say, for a, from a health standpoint, this is probably better. Um, and then we've got our typical corn syrup. Syrup yeah. here. All right, but I think we are going to be crowning log cabin syrup as the, the very best. winner, absolutely. So there you go. Next time you have pancakes, pick up the log cabin and skip the Mrs. Butterworths. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We'll see you next week. See ya. Woohoo! <laughs>